Let's explore! Have you ever heard of the Dust Bowl? This event caused a lot of people from the Midwest and the Great Plains to leave their homes and travel west to find work. Let's take a closer look. Let's investigate! Remember to take notes. How does America use its strengths and face its challenges? The Great Plains included the states of Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, and parts of Texas and Oklahoma. In the 1930s, these states suffered from a combination of very little rainfall, light overplowed soil, and high winds. The result was large dust clouds, called black blizzards, that drove hundreds of thousands of people away from the area. Over 200,000 people traveled west looking for work. Those that were from Oklahoma were nicknamed Okies. The migrants were faced with the hard life when they arrived in the West. Many Okies lived in shacks made of scrap metal and wood. Others lived in their vehicles or tents. Still others were turned away at the borders of some Western states by police due to overcrowding. One famous Okie was Florence Thompson, a member of the Cherokee Nation, who had been born in Indian Territory. She and her family moved to California in the 1920s before the Dust Bowl started. She worked as a migrant farmer to support her children. When her husband died, she found herself competing for the same jobs as the other migrant workers who arrived during the Dust Bowl. She moved from town to town with their children wherever there was a crop to harvest, working from sun up until after dark picking fruits, nuts, and cotton. Florence Thompson also worked in hospitals as a cook, and in other jobs. And she made sure to give her children a feeling of self-worth. She gave them the knowledge that they could make it on their own. Thompson and many others during this tough time kept up hope. They helped the whole country make it through. In her own words, we just existed. We survived. Let's put it that way. In 1936, Florence Thompson allowed photographer Dorothea Lange to photograph her family because she thought it might help to tell the story of the working poor. Lange took six pictures. One of them, Migrant Mother, became an iconic photo of the Great Depression. It has become one of the most familiar images of the 20th century. Let's report! Now it's your turn to investigate and report on... How does America use its strengths and face its challenges?